Hey, my name is Matt Store, and I repair saxophones for a living, and I want to show you what you do when you've got a key fit problem with one of these. This is a hinge rod that has a pivot screw at the end. You'll find these in King Super 20s, like you see here, also on some balanced actions, and probably some other horns that I'm not thinking of right now. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this in, and I'm trying to screw it in without getting my hand in the way, but I really do need to guide it. And you will see what the problem is here, and then I will show you how this is fixed. Okay, so that's all the way screwed in, but when we look at this key, you can see there's still some movement, right? So it's being held at both ends by the pivot screws, and it's got extra movement, right? And it can move in this direction and this direction. And that's not great. So how do we fix that? Like this on the lathe. What we're going to do is cut that shoulder back a little bit because that is what uh, controls the depth to which I can screw it in. And if I can screw it in a little bit farther, then it'll take up that play and that key will be fit. Now knowing exactly how much to take off is a bit of a thing kind of learn over time. You can try and measure it, but it doesn't really work that well. The best thing to do when you're first learning is to just go a little bit at a time and check and check and check. If you go too far, you can use an exact shape, uh, exact shape pivot reamer to ream out the uh, receiver a little bit to get that fit. But ideally, I will take exactly as much off as I need to and then screw it in and everything will work fine. All right, I'm gonna try and do this with the camera kind of under my arm, but I have to keep an eye on the lathe while I'm doing this. So we'll see, hopefully I won't obstruct your view too much. There we go. Next thing I do is toss it in the bench motor to chamfer that edge just a little bit. So that it smoothly goes through the key when we insert it. And what we have now looks like this. Okay, so here's what we have. I had to smooth, I actually installed it once already and it started to catch a little bit, so I had to smooth down some of these threads that were close to the tip because they were starting to sort of hit the uh, receiver. But other than that, we actually seem to have done a decent job. It's free without any play. And that's how you do that when you run into that problem.